means the most important thing is time. Because a lot of small money eventually become big. But no matter how big the money is, if you don't have the time, it will never grow. If you let time pass by without saving money, then you will lose not only the money itself, but the future of what money can bring to you. The longer the time you need, the less money you need to invest to reach your financial goals. But the shorter the time you have, then the more money you need to invest to reach your financial goals. Nais ng IMG na ibahagi sa mga Pilipino ang mga estratehiya at mahahalagang hakbang para matutong makapag-ipon at iwanan ang pagwawaldas o pagsasayang ng oras sa mga pansamantala at panandali ang bagay. Tutulungan ka ng IMG na pagandahin ang takbo ng iyong pananalapi. Siguraduhin may sapat na proteksyon gaya ng pagkakaroon ng insurance. Pagkakaroon ng emergency funds o savings na tatlong buwan na income. Inmanage ang mga utang at makakawala dito at magsimula na makapag-ipon ng pangmatagalan. Anong direksyon ang tatahakin mo? Magsasayang ka pa ba ng oras o panahon? Kailan ka kikilos? Palilipasin mo bang muli ang napakabilis na takbo ng oras? Nasa kamay mo. Ang desisyon at posibleng ang tamang oras para makapagsimula ay oras na tumatakbo na ngayon. Okay, good evening everyone. Magandang gabi sa lahat. Um, for those na nasa Pilipinas, magandang gabi po. And um, yung ma mga nasa ibang time zone, we have here participants from the Middle East and from other countries. Uh, good day po. Ano? So um, welcome to our uh, financial literacy class. And before we start po, uh, let's have our prayer muna. So um, if you're a Catholic, you can have the sign of the cross, right? Can you pray with me in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit? Amen. Lord, I ask you to bless me so that I may become a blessing. I commit myself to enrich others, but because I cannot give what I do not have, I commit myself to become rich. I commit myself to serve you and to serve the poor with my wealth. Today, I open myself to the abundance of their universe. Use me as your channel of love. Give me the ability to create wealth that will bless the world. Increase my financial wisdom and expand my territories. I place my life in your hands. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay. Magandang gabi ulit. So welcome to our Make Money for You class. So um, all that we will be learning tonight is based on this book. And before we start po, I'd like to thank you all ano, for coming in. Uh, I know it's already late at night. Uh, baka masarap na po, no? Most of the time, ganitong oras, um, mag na po tayo, lalo dito sa Pilipinas or dito sa Cebu, ano? Um, it's a cold night because it's been raining, masarap na matulog or yung iba, um, time na para manood ng ng ano, favorite Netflix na series or movie nila. Ano, but you came in and you opted to come here. So thank you. Ano, and I really hope na makapag-impart tayo ng, 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 ng mga importanteng um, information, especially regarding um, finance, of course, kasi ito yung topic natin ngayon. So again, the title is Make Money Work For You. So we'll learn how to make money work for us because every day, iba, pagbangon natin sa umaga, we, 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 bumabagon tayo para magtrabaho. No? We, we, to work for money, na, for 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 employee sa employed and sa mga may business di ba we we bangon every day to have money para makapag-provide sa sarili natin at sa pamilya natin so it's time na yung pera naman natin no patrabahuin natin so um sa mga hindi pa alam kung paano ito so we'll tackle this although this would just be very basic ano kasi hindi naman natin matatapos yung buong libro so we'll, we just extracted the most important part na concepts and then vehicles ano and action plans that we can do so that may magawa din tayo so the title of the book um is the secret to saving and building your future and go up with ani IMG, right? And um, it says there, become your own financial educator. And at the back of the book, it says there, financial education is not just for the wealthy, it's for everyone. So sa lahat po, marami po kasing misconception na para lang sa mayayaman. So um, dito sa IMG, we believe na it's for everyone. And bagkos, mas importante nga na alam ito ng mga 
you know, um, overlooked ng mga banks, financial industries, no, yung hindi natuturuan kung paano i-manage ng sapat yung pera. All right? Sige, mag-umpisa po tayo. And yeah, I'm one of those guys. I was one among you. Uh, four years ago, I joined IMG back in January 2016. And I was among you and I nag-listen sa class. Ano, and never, I mean, yung buhay ko is, has really changed like 180 degrees. Ano? So, dati, I live paycheck to paycheck and maraming financial worries. And after IMG, no, although it's a cliche, no, pakinggan, pero it really changed my life, my family's life. At saka po yung mga tao na natuto din po. So, ito lahat, ito din yung common na mga testimony din ng mga IMG members talaga. No? So, um, especially those na active talaga in, in doing the mission and doing the advocacy, right? Because they really see the effect in their lives. Okay, so um, yeah, uh, I'll just have a quick introduction. Uh, my name is Maria Sharina Adinkola. Yan po yung full name ko. And um, ayaw po niya mag-turn sa second slide. Wait lang po ha. Hold on. Medyo mahina yung connection ko kasi maulan-ulan. <laughs> Thank you for bearing with me. All right, so uh, yeah, um, I've been with IMG for four years, and um, right now I am a homemaker, a mom of two, right? And uh, here, and um, I am at the same time an executive marketing director of IMG. So inuna ko talaga yung homemaker and mom of two, because I feel that that's my primary primary role in life now, and know, and I think that's the reason why I'm doing IMG also, so that I can do this first job. No, sa buhay ko. And at the same time, I am an AFP of the RFP or Registered Financial Planners of the Philippines and a Green Jacket Trainer of WSB. Yung WSB po is yung sister company ng IMG sa US and Canada and a Certified Life Insurance Underwriter ng Insurance Institute of Asia and the Pacific and of course, an investor and entrepreneur. This happened po um, after I joined IMG. You know? So, like I said, marami talagang changes sa buhay ko, especially uh, financial change, you know, that covers all aspects na din. Kasi kadalasan problema po natin, di ba, tungkol sa pera, right? So, sige, uh, parang okay na po yung slide ko. We'll proceed. So, sino po ba si IMG? Ba't po ba yung kaibigan mo? In-invite kayo dito. Ba't po ba siya kulit ng kulit sa inyo na... Makinig ng class, mag-join ka ng class, mag-join ka na sa IMG. So, bakit nga ba? No? So, IMG is um, International Marketing Group. Yung acronym niya, again, is IMG. And um, we are a community of savers and investors. That's the way I see it. That's the way most of us see it. All right? So, this is something na intangible na hindi mo, hindi mo nakikita. Hindi ito listed sa top 35 benefits ng IMG. But for me, this is the most important one na you belong to a community of savers and investors. Kasi um, malaki yung influence niya sa buhay natin if we belong to a community. Right? Kasi we have, we know a lot of organizations in the whole world. In the Philippines, for example, we have Rotary, we have mga religious institutions, di ba? Marami. But most of these organizations, they focus on uh, dole out, they focus on charity, yung pang one time lang. So yung I, si IMG, yung focus niya is something that is sustainable. Yung focus niya is something that could really help us, not just in this lifetime, but the, the next generations. All right? So what we do is to help people become financially educated because this is something na hindi tinuturo sa school at hindi rin tinuturo sa, sa work, sadly, you know? So, um, Bakit, no? Kasi once we are financially educated, di ba, um, we can make better financial decisions di ba, throughout our life. So sabi pa nga, um, give a man a fish and, and he lives for a day, but teach him how to fish and he lives for a lifetime. So ganyan, ganyan din yung nangyari sa akin. No? And that's the reason why I'm strong in this campaign because I... Hindi ko that when I joined and my purpose was really just to for myself for my family kasi gusto kong um, kumuha ng Kaiser gusto kong makapag-invest and then um, as you realize ano na yung mga yung kapamilya mo yung kaibigan mo they keep making financial mistakes um, they they keep alam naman natin no tinuturo dito sa IMG na kung paano makawala sa utang so a lot of ng aking kakilala ang utang pa although um, hindi kailangan and sometimes uh, yung, ang ridiculous yung mga interest rates and they don't realize it because na-normalize lang yung utang, right? And um, 
marami pang iba. So, um, we make better financial decisions. We, we, we are less prone to scam kasi we, we can discern what is a scam na and not. Of course, hindi naman siya matututunan in isang um, upuan lang ano, na makinig ka ng class. It's, uh, it's a life law. I mean, it's, that's why we keep learning every day here in IMG also. Right? And um, ang maganda dito is kasi nasa lahat, no? nasa ano na, sa portal natin sa IMG. When you join the community, may portal po tayo where you can ano, take the workshops, um, the modules, no? So, and if you would have to take it by yourself, talagang you would have to go to the US pa. But because you're an IMG member, and dyan lang siya sa portal, you can avail it while you're home. Right? Okay, so um, we make better um, uh, execution of our financial decisions and of course, best deals kasi makakapag, makakamura tayo sa mga, pa, mga kailangan natin na financial products. Okay? So we have this campaign right now which is a very bold campaign. It says 30 million financially educated families sa Filipinos by 2030. So imagine nyo yun. 30 million, that's 10 years ahead of us because right now we are at 2020, right? But ganyan ka-visionary si IMG, yung leaders ng IMG, ganyan siya ka-visionary. Nakikinita niya na yung Pilipinas matutulungan natin na ma-alleviate sa poverty by teaching um, Filipinos um, how to properly manage their, their money, right? And right now the count is 2 million plus, so we have 28 million more. Right? And congratulations because you are here. You are part of this movement already. You are counted. So don't forget to get in touch with your um, friend who, who invited you here para mabilang po kayo sa aming um, count ng campaign. And um, every convention po, we have this raffle, iPad raffle now for those na registered. So baka manalo din po kayo. Our next convention is November 15, but that's still virtual kasi bawal pa naman na mag-hold ng malaking convention ngayon. So last June, we had a convention and the attendees was ano, 100,000 plus ano, through Vimeo. Ano? So mga active IMG members. So if you're already a member before or by November 15th, then you can already join our um, virtual convention. So very powerful po ito. No? Ang daming mga speakers na magagaling and marami tayong matututunan. Right? So congratulations in advance. So Bakit po ba natin ginagawa ito? Ano? So, uh, yeah, together with us in this campaign, we, all, we have these people, no? um, they are also sharing the book, they are also um, doing this um, classes. Ano? So, we see here, Corina Sanchez. So, yung advocacy talaga ni Corina din is yung matuto yung mga tao na makawala sa utang. Kasi sabi pa niya, a few years ago sa IMG, ano? uh, early 2000, we see her as... Uh, a very successful na news anchor, right? Uh, the TV host, no? But sabi niya at that time, parang successful siya tingnan, pero lubog na daw siya sa utang. Alright? And who helped her go, get back in track sa kanyang finances? Si IMG din. And that's why she's one of our ambassadors right now, right? Sinusulong din niya na matuto talaga ang mga Pilipino ng financial literacy. And beside her is uh, Sharon Caneta. Sharon Caneta naman is may, yung experience naman niya, yung she shared niya last year sa convention, she was there, is that a few years ago, her mom died and passed away, eventually passed away, and yung bill nila sa hospital was double-digit million. But you know, no? akala natin kayang-kaya na niya ni Sharon, but nabankrupt talaga siya, no? And who helped her pay for the bills? It's her daughter pa si Casey. So, after that, naka-realize siya na ayaw, din, ayaw niya mangyari yun sa mga anak niya kung siya na yung tumanda, no? So, she took action herself and ngayon, um, she got her own Kaiser long-term care and at the same time, ambassadress na din po natin siya sa Kaiser. So Kaiser is the par one of the partner companies ng IMG and um, we strongly, they strongly support our advocacy and we believe na yung sinasulong nila na primary product which is long-term care is something that can solve the poverty cycle ng Pilipinas. Ano. So yeah, and we'll talk more about that later naman. Ano. And we have here also Dito Boy Abunda. Si Dito Boy naman is yung ambassador natin sa life insurance partner which is MB Life. Kasi dati ito si Tito Boy hindi din siya believer ng insurance. Sabi niya. And um, uh, he noticed no, as he was um, getting nung nasa industry na siya no, ng 
entertainment, um, a lot of his friends, uh, yung, yung namamatayan, bakit hindi naghihirap? Yung kasi, di ba, sa mga drama, nakikita natin, naghihirap, and all, sa movies. Eh, bagkus, okay yung buhay, ano? Parang walang nangyari or gumaganda pa. So, life insurance pala, ano? Kasi iba yung notion niya dati nung nasa probinsya pa siya, kung ano yung insurance. So, um, now he's a believer and he chose um, MB Life, yung partner po ng IMG, ano, as his life insurance. Alright? So, and, yeah, andito, sinig andito, yung paborito natin, most sa atin, which is si Brother Bo Sanchez, right? Um, ilan lang siguro sa atin yung hindi nakakakilala, but I think most of us know Brother Bo Sanchez. Brother Bo is a very famous missionary and um, uh, tawag nito, um, uh, marami na siyang natulungan ng mga tao, no? a preacher. No? So, and um, I really look up to this person kasi college pa lang ako, nagbabasa talaga ako ng krigma niya. <laughs> and I was amazed na uh, member din siya ng IMG and he credits his, his knowledge on personal finance, his success sa finances niya sa ating big three, sa ating founders ng IMG. So katabi po niya yung founders ng IMG, si Sir um, Joen, si Sir Noel, and si Sir Bart. Itong mga tatlong ito, araw-araw bumabangon para tumulong sa mga Pilipino. No? Walang pili, kahit janitor ka pa, um, um, labandera ka or kahit gaano ka successful ka successful in life na professionally but kung gusto mong matuto ng personal finance kasi hindi naman yan tinuturo sa school no so um, they teach no so um, we we are very grateful to these um, three who paved the way for IMG to be what it is right now kasi kung hindi siguro nila nilaban itong um, organization na ito no so i don't know baka tayo ngayon na nabebentahan pa din ng mga mahal na insurance products kasi we don't know no <laughs> hindi na hindi natin alam kung paano magtanong kasi um, of course they trained to say, sell and minsan nakukuha natin mga mahal pala and may better options pala tayo so yun and marami pa pong iba so you will tackle more about that anyway in, in a minute no so we're doing this no usually because we we have a challenging future ahead of us. So today nga, itong class na ito is our seventh class today ng team. And after this, meron pa no? Kasi yung iba nasa ibang bansa. But why are we doing this? Kahit wala naman itong bayad, ano? we do this for free. So we 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 see that we have a challenging future ahead of us. Ano? But we don't realize it much. Ano? And um, it says here, a large number of Filipinos will face increasing challenges in four major areas. So and then po natin tong apat na ito ano so number 1 is uncertain labor market so ano po ito so of course um yung labor market talagang hindi naman siya certain talaga no makikita mo siya evident siya ngayong pandemic anong nangyari ngayong pandemic swerte tayo kung kabilang tayo sa um sa employees or um sector ng business na hindi affected ng ng tawag nito ng pandemic but most of us no? Marami yung nawalan ng trabaho, marami yung na, no work, no pay, or na cut yung pay, right? So, and even me, I feel guilty dun sa mga kakilala ko na hindi ko na pa join sa IMG because if you're with IMG and this pandemic happened, you won't have a problem because sa IMG, tinuturo na mag-save ka ng emergency fund. Sa IMG, we have weekly income. So, he, and I our business is not affected by the pandemic. And this time nga, kahit na pandemic, soaring yung numbers natin. All right, so para siyang ano no, para siyang blessing in this guys, you lord or divine intervention. But yan talaga yung nangyari. It's so amazing, no? And um yan kasi existing na din yung online platform ni IMG dati pa man. And we help Filipinos here and abroad. So mayon yung mga tao na sa bahay lang. So marami yung mas natututo. So um, more about uh, uncertain labor market. Uh, of course, it favors automation na ano. So kahit saan na mga kompanya gusto nila yung mas madali at mas mura mas madali mas mura at mas um, to easy di ba so makikita natin ito for example sa fast food chains ngayon di ba it's happening na na kung mag-order ka hindi na na yung ikaw yung yung sasabihin mo yung order sa counter crew kasi ngayon it's happening na na pipindutin mo lang sa kiosk kung ano yung order mo di ba uh, before sa ibang bansa ko lang ito nararanasan na ang ganda naman ito um, sana meron din ganito sa Philippines tapos after a while meron na din dito di ba so sino'y nawala ng trabaho 
yung counter crew, di ba? And ako nag-work ako dati sa Jollibee and na-receive na try ko yun na ako nag-receive ng order. So pwede na yan hindi ngayon kasi wala na yan. <laughs> Magpipindot na lang, di ba? So ayan and of course um I I saw this very famous meme sa social media, isang picture ng um helicopter and then sa loob ng helicopter meron pong isang cameraman na nagte-take ng footage para may event po sa baba. But that picture was taken 10 years ago. No? Kasi ngayon, if you want to take a footage of an event sa baba or something na may kukunan ka sa baba no? and nasa sky ka, hindi mo na kailangan ng helicopter at cameraman. Di ba? Drone na lang po, di ba? Yung mga events ngayon, drone na lang. So sino yung nawala ng trabaho? Yung cameraman at yung piloto na <laughs> piloto na lang helicopter kung pilot man tawag sa kanila. So makikita natin diyan na yun nga hindi hindi forever yung trabaho natin and we're, if we're not doing the right things in terms of our finances, if we live above our means, kung iisa lang yung source of income natin, ako kawawa po tayo talaga ano. That's why um IMG is here para um, pumukaw sa atin na hindi pwedeng maging ang um, komportable ka sa isang trabaho lang kasi habang tumatang da pa naman tayo, akala natin indispensable na tayo sa company. But yung company point of view din naman is of course tumatanda ka um, sa company, nagmamahal ka din, mahal yung salary mo and of course nagiging mahina ka kasi tumatanda ka na so magiging liability ka nila. So most of the time, oh, anytime no, baka pwede ka nilang palitan lang ng mas bata at mas magaling pa, pa sa'yo diba? at mas mura yung trabaho mo bayad sa kanya, di ba? So, uh, we've seen that sa corporate. But anyway, no, so yan yung unang ano natin, challenge. Yung pangalawa naman is low savings and high debt. Diba? So, if you would um, observe, sino ba yung mga kasama mo palagi? Mas marami ba yung may savings kesa sa may mga utang? Or mas marami yung may mga utang or loans kesa sa may savings? Um, you have to be mindful, right? Kasi, kung palagi natin kasama may mga utang, most likely magiging pala utang din tayo, di ba? And um, kung palagi natin kasama may mga savings, so most likely may savings din tayo. Right? And we are on our way to become wealthy. no? And yung masaklap lang talaga ngayon, kasi nga, parang normal na. Normal na na may utang. And even ako, I grew up talaga na normal yung may utang. Kasi yung parents ko, nagtatrabaho sa gobyerno. Papa ko, policeman, yung mama ko, teacher. So, alam niya naman, di ba, sa government, easy access yung loan yung mga loan companies pa yung lumalapit sa mga sa maestra sa mga um, ano, sa law enforcers para makautang hindi mahirap sa kanila na mag-loan and so that, kah- kaya nga dahil niyan hindi natin nare-realize na ang lalaki minsan ng interest and yun na mababaon na tayo sa utang and i grew up na yung iba ipaayos ng bahay, yung pangkolehiyo ko. So, niloloan siya. So, akala ko dati din na normal lang siya. No? So, when I met IMG, I was really um, amazed. Ano, na there's a lot of people, there's a community talaga na walang utang. I mean, ang, ang iba, may mga utang, but they're doing their best na makawala sa utang. And marami yung investments and properly protected. So, na-amazed talaga ako. So, I said to myself na this is the community that I want to belong to. no Kasi, Um, at saka, yung na-amaze pa ako kasi it gave me a different perspective ng wealthy. Kasi dati akala ko din pag wealthy ka, maganda yung bahay mo, uh, magara yung sasakyan mo, marami kang alaha. So dito sa IMG, nakikita ko yung mga kasabay ko, mga multi-millionaires, na, pero ang sisimple po ng lifestyle. So, na, ma-humble ka talaga dito and yun na, sila na yung mga naging idolo ko ngayon. And at the same time, ang kanling kasi, friends mo na din sila. So you'd be inspired a lot kung, kung you belong ka sa sa organization na ito. And then, number three is high cost of education. So, another challenge. So, so this is something, again, na we parents, baka yung iba dito, parents din kagaya ko, don't realize, no? So, according to studies, yung tuition fee in college doubles every six years. Right? You can Google it. And sino ba yung may ano sa atin dito? Yung may, may, may mga bata, no? May, 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 uh, papapasukin na soon or later on ano so most sa atin dito siguro naman breadwinners ano so if basehan natin yung study na nagda-double yung tuition every six years what does that say say for example i have a one year old kid right now and yung tuition doubles every six years and yung tuition ngayon sa last class sabi nila 50,000 daw per sem sa college ano so i think 
ano pa nga yan, average kasi alam ko mas malaki pa sa iba no yung anak ko nga elementary pa lang mas malaki na diyan tapos um, kung mag state college better no but average 50,000 sabihin natin ano example lang yan so after six years yung one year old mo na anak the double na yung tuition di ba pero yung anak mo seven years old pa lang so magkano na 50 times 2 kasi magdo double so 100,000 pero hindi pa magsuschool yung anak mo Right? So another six years, um, how old ay anak mo? 12 years old or 13. Tapos hindi pa siya magka-college. So times two na, 200,000. So another six years, magiging 18 years old yung anak mo, 19 years old, dyan, college na siya. And how much na yan? 200,000 times two, that's 400,000. So every tuition, imagine na natin na ganyan na yung price, no? How many years from now? That's 18 years, 17 years from now. Diba? Ako yung, nung nag-school ako dati, totoo talaga, no? Kasi 4,000 pa dati, ngayon magkano na? 30,000 sa state college pa yan, diba? So, it's happening. So, we better prepare for it. Kasi yung college naman ng mga anak natin, hindi naman siya emergency. Meron tayong 18 years to prepare, right? So, we can prepare. And dito sa IMG, tinuturuan tayo na kahit ko konti lang, 500, 1,000, naiimpok, malayo na po yung mararating. Okay? Because of the of compounding interest. And number four is increasing cost of living. So ano naman ito? Aware na naman tayo dito siguro, di ba? Um, inflation. So the sabi pa nga, inflation is the biggest killer po ng ating uh, money. Tubo ng ating money. And um, alam natin sa grocery dati, um, yung 1,000 mo, madami pa, no? Ngayon, kukunti na lang. And yung example ko nito is um, sa trabaho, ano, kasi ako din dati when I was still employed, we have this appraisal every year, right? Where we get to have an increase sa sweldo natin. And um, sometimes 4%, um, sometimes wala. So sabi nyo, and sometimes nasa malaki. And the moment na may appraisal tayo, parang yung lifestyle natin, kasi malaki na yung sweldo natin, increase din, ano? So without realizing na yung, yung increase sa salary natin, minsan pang offset lang yun ng inflation, kasi average inflation rate sa Philippines for the past 10 years, average yearly, ano, is 5 to 6%. So kung ang increase mo sa salary mo is 4%, 4 lang, tapos yung inflation rate is 5%, diba, diba? and you live, above, uh, you increase your lifestyle right away, then ano, yun na, kaya nga nagkakautang-utang tayo. Diba? So that's one thing also na I realized na, oh nga, ano, dito ako na din sa IMG and I realized. So, yan, we have this challenging future ahead of us and that's why we have to prepare. Right? So, we'll go, we'll delve more into the book right now, no? So, sa forward po ng libro, which is gawa po ng, uh, gawa po ni Brother Bo Sanchez, sabi po niya, um, friend book, this book is your ticket to upgrading your financial life. Read it, devour it, and read, uh, share it with people who need a financial revolution in their life. So, it may not just be you, but also yung kapitbahay mo na nawalan ng trabaho, yung kapatid mo na struggling sa trabaho niya ngayon. Or, diba? So, um, if if you think na yung malalaman natin ngayong gabi is very, very helpful, then um, invite them to our next class. Ano, every day we have classes from noon time to evening. All right? And I love this. I'd like to share this page 11 ng book. Ano, sabi dito, when it comes to securing and saving their future, Many good people fail. It's a reflection kung ano talaga yung reality, you know. Uh, smart people fail. Hard working people fail. Young people fail. Old people fail. Doctors, teachers, engineers, and uh, many retire. Many end up retiring without enough savings. Do you agree po ba? No? Uh, may mga kakilala po ba tayong ganito? No? Kasi ako meron na kahit mababait silang tao, they're still struggling. Kahit they're smart, academically, and professionally successful, kulang pa rin yung pera. Hardworking, overtime ng overtime, kulang pa din. Young people, YOLO ng YOLO without realizing na may yago din or you also grow old. And then old people na yung parang pagsisisi na lang yung meron. And kahit mga professionally successful, right? So many end up retiring without savings no these people don't set out to fail they do because they fail to plan and manage their personal finances right they lack financial education so yun din lang yung nakikita ko talagang oo nga ano ang nakita talaga ng ng oo nga ano 
financial education lang yung kulang talaga. Um, so, dito sa MG, na-realize ko na kahit nga yung dati akala ko, like manager ko, na malaki na yung income, malaking-malaki na. And right now, um, um, we, we just chatted and right now, he's having a hard time paying off his credit card bills and um, walang sapat na ipon. So, um, yun nga, hindi talaga natuturo sa trabaho or sa school yung financial education. That's why we have to take it separately, no? Dito yan sa ING malalaman din. And sabi sa libro, you can control your future. It's in your hands, right? So, um, sabi pa dito sa libro, you can make money. Um, save money, accumulate money, and uh, protect your money. Now, make money, uh, expert na tayo dyan, di ba? Um, given na yan na yung mga Pilipino talaga is masisipag. Kaya nga, sikat na sikat tayo as an OFW kasi masisipag tayo. And kahit nga ngayong pandemic, uh, maraket tayo. Marami yung may mga extra racket-racket dyan. May nagbibenta ng tanim, nagbibenta ng mga desserts, kakanin, kahit ano. Dito nga sa tinitirahan namin, we don't have to go out na kasi halos lahat. Andito na nagbibenta ng tubig, bigas, sabon, pang hugas, pati itlog, mga prutas, <laughs> so andyan na no. So, diba? so madiscarded talaga yung mga Pinoy. But what we need to work on talaga is how to save money. And I have to say that kulang lang talaga yung community. That means um, um, kulang. Wala yung IMD sa buhay nila. And I, I quote this famous philosopher named Jim Rohn. Sabi niya, you are an average of the five people that you spend most of your time with. So if palagi mo mga kasama is mga gastador, so most likely nga, gastador ka din. If mga palakain, palakain ka din. Or how do you call this? Chismosa, 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 chismosa ka din. But if you, if you, you belong to a community and savers and investors, then, then most likely saver and investor ka din. Right? Now, saving is not enough. Um, you have to put it in vehicles na tutubo exponentially yung pera mo. Otherwise, sayang din naman yung pag-save mo lang. That's why um, um, tinuturo din yan dito sa IMG. All right? And of course, um, learn how to protect our money. And sabi sa libro, we can become our own financial educator. Right? So, um, the future is not in, our ha in, in the hands of our employer, no? Um, it's not in the hands of the government. It's not in the hands of, ito, of your clients, of the banker, or your broker. It's in your hands. So right now, we are earning active income, right? Like I said kanina, bumabagon tayo bawat araw to earn active income. But what we need to do is to set aside part of it para later on, we can live on passive income. We can make money work for us. We, we, we live, we can live on interest na. Right? So kuha na lang tayo ng kuha sa interest ng kita ng ating mga ipon. Right? Kung nag-iipon tayo habang may active income na tayo. Kasi hindi naman forever kaya natin magtrabaho. Right? Sasabihin na naman ng katawan natin later on, napagod na ako magtrabaho. Pwede ba ang ipon ko? Ikaw na yung magtrabaho? So pwede. No? Pwede. No? Kaya, yun yung sikreto ng mga mayayaman. Ano? Magaling silang mag-ipon. That's why they live on interest. Right? So, ganun lang pala. So, yan yung aim natin. Ano? That's why we have this class right now. Okay, so thank you for staying, guys. No? Anong oras na. So, now let's tackle the key financial concepts that you need to learn and understand. So, your financial literacy journey starts here. Okay, so let's talk about the um, three key concepts no, sa IMG na tinuturo. And I really find this very, very important. Ano, hindi, ito, hindi ko rin ito natutunan dati. So, number one is X-curve concept. So, ano ba itong X-curve concept? No, so, X-curve concept, hindi ito yung X ha, na iniwan ka at sinaktan. <laughs> ito yung X na pinaka-importante yung X sa buhay natin. So, ano to? So, there's a, you, you can see here two lines. Ano, one is going up which is called the money line, and then one that is going down, which is called the responsibility line. And then sa baba, makikita natin dito, straight line, which is our timeline from the time na young pa tayo bago magtrabaho until we reach old age, right? So as we tread through life, no, ganito yung timeline natin, ano, ganito dapat yung postura ng ating X-curve. Yung money natin, money line, dapat paakyat. Yung responsibility line natin is pababa. 
What does that mean? No? So, kasi di ba, kung bata pa tayo, usually dito tayo ng pamilya, konti pa yung sweldo natin. So, yung man- money line natin, konti pa kasi konti, hindi pa tayo nakakapag-ipon na masyado kasi malaki pa yung responsibility. Bago ka nag-asawa, may babayaran kang bahay, may babayaran kang sasakyan, may, ba- may papaaral kang mga bata, yung pagkain yung araw-araw. Di ba? So, malaki yung responsibility. So, mahirap pa mag-ipon. So, as time go by, di ba? Yung responsibility natin bumababa kasi aral, tapos yung mga anak mo mag-graduate. The moment na mag-graduate sila, wala na tayong responsibility. They would have, they would work na and they would have their own family. So our responsibility na lang by then is our self. So dapat kung, kung wala nang itong responsibility na ito, ibig sabihin marami na po tayong ipon dapat kasi dito, ito din na tayo ito, di ba? Magre-retiro na tayo and yun na nga, we can let money work for us na. Right? Hindi naman pwedeng um, sa, sa mga anak natin iaasa yung ating retirement, di ba? Or hindi sapat yung ating iipon kasi we would end up na burden sa kanila. Of course, our kids would want to help us but di ba? We would rather be a blessing than a burden to them. Kaya nga, um, gusto nating mag-ipon and nandito tayo sa class na ito kasi gusto natin na hindi maging burden sa kanila later on, you know, and um, our kids, our mga apo would be very proud of us if they know na we had been a good saver when we were younger and they would want to emulate us, diba? So, may mga um, challenges tayo while we are still increasing our money line, ano? So, what if we die too soon? May mga scenarios, ano? What if kunin tayo ni Lord na bata pa tayo and ang laki pa ng responsibility natin? Right? It can happen and we see it happen, di ba? Ako, meron akong team na namatay last year, 27 pa lang, and um, healthy, healthy, hindi natin alam na kukunin ni Lord. So, kung malaki pa ang responsibility, kunin ni Lord, anong solusyon? So, dyan papasok yung life insurance. So, um, life insurance is for income replacement. You know? Kung mawala si breadwinner, sasalo siya sa responsibility. So, may proper calculation din yan. And then, what if naman kung buhayin tayo ni Lord ng mahabang mahaba or may genes talaga tayo na mahaba ang buhay, di ba? So, yung problema naman dito is retired ka na pero wala ka ng retirement money or you outlive your retirement. Di ba? Kadalasan, um, um, kulang pa yung pension. Kulang pa sa maintenance or may lump sum from retirement pero hanggang 3 years lang hindi na umabot ng ano tap ng ilang taon kasi one day millionaire diba? so we, we see that a lot and so we have to help them right para hindi naman mahirapan sila dapat yung retirement natin is mag-heal na lang tayo kasi di ba how many years we have been working so dapat uh, we enjoy na the fruits of our labors by then that's why we, we enjoy the Uh, yung ipon na natin by then. Okay? So, we'll talk more about it. I hope that's clear lang. Ano, dapat paakyat yung money line. Hindi ito pababa. Okay? Baka pababa kasi marami tayong utang. So, make sure na paakyat ko siya. And then, uh, rule of 72 or the power of compounding interest. This is really striking to me when I first heard it. Kasi ito lang pala yung sikreto talaga ng mayayaman. Ano, kung bakit ang... Um, ang, dal- ang madali lang sa kanila na dumami yung pera nila. So ito, the power of compounding interest. So sabi pa nga ni Albert Einstein, this is the eighth wonder of the world. We all know na seven lang yung wonders of the world, right? Pero sabi ni Albert Einstein talaga na yung compounding interest is man- man's greatest invention. He who understands it, earns it, and he who doesn't, pays for it. Right? So double-edged sword siya. Understand, meaning invest ka ng invest, it's money working for you. And um, pays for it, meaning utang ka ng utang or loan ka ng loan. So it's money working against you. Hinahatak ka pa baba. So double-edged sword siya. So paano ba pag-compute ng interest sa ating investment or interest sa ating utang kung kailan po siya dodoble? No? Kailan dodoble yung interest? So, 72, nakikita natin dito, constant number divided by the interest rate or the ROI kung saan natin siya nilagay sa, sa investment man or sa utang. But we are aiming here na investment, right? Kasi gusto natin naman dito na yumaman tayo, right? And um, equals to the number of years it will take for a given fund to double. Pagkailan to double yung pera mo. 
Right, so let's have a computation. If you're still here, if you're still with me, can you please type in? Um, san po ba? San po ba natin nilalagay yung pera natin ngayon? Yung mga ipon natin, no? Kung may ipon tayo, um, you can you can chat, no? Uh, sa sa ilalim ba ng unan or um, sa cabinet? <laughs> may may iba nag-iipon sa co-op, sa bangko. So ayun, may nag-chat. So sabi ni Miss Mary Lou sa bank, right? Okay, may iba pa ba sa bank din naglalagay? Co-op and investments. Alkansha, yung iba Alkansha, right? Co-op. Okay, good. All right, thank you for sa Alkansha na Kawayan. Oh, meron pa yan. Totoo, yung anak ko meron din siyang Alkansha na Kawayan. Okay, good. Thank you so much for um participating. So, yan yeah, ano, so um let's try to compute For example, of course, yung alkansya, if nasa bahay, if we base, if, oh uh, yeah, if, kung basihan natin yung inflation rate, ano, so hindi talaga siya tutubo, di ba? Kasi wala din naman tayong nilagyan na tutubo yung interest rate niya. Pero maganda yun for the following of habit of saving. Now, co-op, they give higher interest rates, um, but I know that um, it would just encourage you to loan more, di ba? Para to give you a lower interest rate. So parang yung napropromote niya na attitude or habit mo or whatever or behavior towards money is to loan, loan, loan. And of course, uh, in, personally lang, ako, <laughs> hindi naman sa ano, but as a, siguro sa business point of view, okay, but business point of view na magpapautang sa business, but um, business point of view na magpapautang for personal reasons, I, I really don't like it because I feel like it's enabling someone na malubog or ma mahirapan lalo sa buhay. No? So, um, yun, I don't like it as a business. You know? <laughs> so, maganda nga kasi dito sa IMG, may encourage ako na na person na yung business niya dati is pagpalon and sabi niya ang sakit sa ulo hera kasi naniningil ka yung iba hindi pa nagbabayad so ilumipat ka dito ka na sa IMG magpaipon ka yung gusto naman niya nila magipon kasi lalaki yung pera nila di ba so yan parang kawawa pa sila kasi mas lalo silang nalulubog sa utang so ayun ano but anyway yan yung co-op of course and we have interest sa ating sa, sa, sa pool of money na pinapalon natin maganda din ano but ayun na ayo wala personally i don't have co op na mga savings but let's move on and let's focus on sa bank kasi madalas di ba sa bank naman tayo nagsi-save ito sabi ni Lemuel sa bank din and ako may bank din ako i put my emergency fund sa banks right digital tsaka yung traditional bank so let's try to compute which is which goes to our next question no magkano po ba yung interest rate sa bank ngayon Kung i-check po natin, di ba yung ating SOA, magkano po ba? Or alam na siguro natin kasi pag nag apply tayo, nakikita naman dun. And we even see it sa mga advertisements, di ba? So you can feel free to chat, no? Kung magkano yung, ano, yung interest rate sa bank. 0.25 sabi ni Sir Bobby. Thank you po, Sir Bobby. Meron pa bang iba dyan? 0.25... Kanina may nagsabi 0.15, 0.25 quarterly, 1%. Depende sa bank, mostly 1%. That's true. So, indeed, no? And uh, most traditional banks, they really give um, below 1%, 0.5, 0.15, um, 0.10 even, right? And that's the traditional banks. Yung alam natin dito like, uh, like BPI, BDO, Metro Banks, mga major banks. Ano? But may mga bagong support kasi ngayon ng digital banks like CIMB and ING, the one with the lion logo, and they give higher interest rates, like 4%, 3.1%. So you can park your emergency funds there para mas malaki yung tubo kesa sa traditional bank lang. Ako na-experience ko mas malaki talaga yung tubo kahit emergency fund lang siya kasi uh, malaki yung interest nila, interest rate nila. But later on, bababa din yan. Ano? And sabi pa nga, ito na I learned sa first convention ko nga sa IMG four years ago na there will come a time na wala na interest yung nilalagay natin sa bank and baggos tayo na yung magpipay ng interest. Right? And it's happening in UK, it's happening in Japan, it's happening na kung maglalagay ka ng pera, ikaw pa yung magbabayad, ikaw yung may interest. Kasi, of course, we're using their service. So, ayun na. So, um, yes, promo lang po, which is 
mababa din yan. Totoo po. So, take advantage natin ngayon. Matagal-tagal na din. Mga one year na yan na 4% siya, di ba? Ang galing kasi emergency funds mo lang pero 4% yung tubo, Sir Bob. So, nga, thank you po for sharing, Sir Bob. So, yun na, there will come a time na tayo na yung magbabayad. So, we must be mindful talaga kung saan natin ilalagay yung pera. The banks, of course, are good for emergency funds. Ngayon, dati, banks are good. Panahon ng lola-lola natin kasi dati, yung interest rate sa bank is 10-15%. So, talagang more than inflation rate siya. So, tutupo talaga yung pera natin. Pero ngayon, parang zero. <laughs> Loi kay ka because um, babayad ka pa ng, with, ng withholding tax, right? So, ayan. Bigyan natin ng example. If sa bank, 1%, 72 divided by 1 is 72 years. 72 years, the double yung pera mo. For example, si Sir Bob is 20, 20 years old ngayon, no? Si Sir Bobby. And um, mayroon siyang 10,000 nilagay sa isang bank. And then if gamitin itong computation na ito, 72 divided by 1 is 72 years, meaning yung 10,000 niya do doble after 72 years, which is, ano na siya niyan? 92 years old. Saka pa magiging 20,000 yung pera niya. No, makakapag-antay ba tayo ng ganun? Especially if yung gusto natin sa pera natin is for retirement or college fund ng kids natin. So, di ba hindi? Baka, baka kalansay na tayo yan. So, again, banks are good for emergency fund, but we must know these different investment vehicles na legal ano and um existing and legal and magandang lagyan and um IMG members this is where we put most of our money we put most of our investments okay so 4% say for example no so 72 divided by 4 is equals to 18 years so maganda kasi 18 years lang po di ba instead ng 72 years and we have an example here Sample, again, si Sir Bob, no? 20 siya and meron siyang 100,000 maybe bigay sa kanya pag graduate na or ipon niya, no? But example lang ito, but you know what? Yung investment for those na hindi pa alam, for sa ganitong interest rate, you can start as low as 1,000 pesos. Dati, it has to be huge talaga. So ngayon, pwedeng-pwede na na maging shareholder kayo, stockholder kayo for as low as 1,000 pesos, right? And um, after 18 years, Yung pera po ni Sir Bob naging 200,000 and another 18 years dumoble kasi compounding ga ka, naging 400,000. Diba maganda? Kasi wala kang ginawa. Passive income, um, naglagay ka lang ng 100,000, you went about your life and then after how many years, pag 56 mo, meron ka ng 400,000. Right? So what's better naman? Ano? So we have here 8%. So 8%, 72 divided by 8 is equals to? Nine. So, mas maganda kasi mas mabilis, right? So, money doubles every nine years. So, example dito, again, 20 and then may 100,000. Nilagay niya sa 8%. So, after nine years, 200,000. Another nine years, 400, so on and so forth. Meron na siyang 1.6. Di ba ang layo ng difference? Just because you put it in an investment vehicle that gives 8%. Right? And now we have 12% here. 72 divided by 12 is equals to 6 years. Money doubles every 6 years. So, mas maganda kasi ito talaga. Malapit na malapit lang. Dodoble na yung pera mo. So, again, si Sir Bob, mayroong 100,000. Nilagay niya sa 12%. So, meron na siyang 200 after 6 years. Another 6 years, 400. And so on and so forth. Now, he has 6.4 million. So, you see the difference? No? So, very substantial. So times 4 dito sa 8%, times 16 naman dito sa 12%. Diba? Now question, saan ba natin nilalagay yung pera natin dito ngayon? No? Of course, iba-iba naman yung purposes ng ating mga ipon. Ano? But sana um, dito sila. And if not pa kasi hindi pa kayo IMG member. So congratulations. Ano? Kasi may experience nyo na yung higher returns. Kasi you know na where to put your money now. Right? So, ito, dati din ako, um, wala, wala talaga alam. Meron akong insurance na may investment dati, pero rip-off pala yun, ano? And ang malalaki yung charges and most sa iniipon ko doon pala, hindi pa siya papunta dito. So, it was a sad thing. But anyway, no, I learned um, a hard lesson and I'm very grateful to IMG kasi natutunan ko ito. So, you'd experience these rate of returns kung nasa IMG kayo or of course, kung financially educated talaga tayo. Okay, and number three is my favorite na concept, which is solid financial foundation. So what is it now? So now this talks about um, how to build your solid financial foundation the right way. So ito, um, ito talaga yung pinapalo din ng family namin. And of course, 
lahat ng IMG members, no? And um, this is actually common sense, but this is common sense na hindi pinapractice ng marami sa atin. So what is it, no? So when we build our house, di ba, we always, um, hindi naman natin ina, una umpa, umpisahan sa, how do you call it, sa roof or sa atip, right? We always start from the ground up, right? So start tayo ng foundation and then flooring and then, Um, bubong until na yung atip. Hindi din naman pwedeng unahin yung atip kasi isang bagyo lang timpag agad, di ba? Isang lindol, which is very frequent dito sa Pilipinas. Kaya, um, just like building a house, we we build our solid financial foundation the right way, and we build it right, we build it strong. So we start with the healthcare. And then, protection, especially if you're a breadwinner. Of course, if you're not, you don't need it. And then debt elimination, kung meron. And then emergency funds, building emergency funds, and then investments. Kadalasan na mistake natin is if we have a bulk of money, right? Um, nilalagad adikad natin sa investment. So especially tangible na yung bahay, property, alahas, without realizing na wala pa tayong emergency funds. So if merong emergency, yung investment mo nagiging emergency. So, nabibenta mo yung alahas or na, nasasangla mo yung alahas. Um, yung property mo, nabibenta mo, sacrifice sale kasi nga, kailangan na mo agad yung pera, right? So, nadi-defeat yung purpose. That's why we teach about building emergency funds and eliminate debts. Um, kung wala na ngang emergency funds, dun na nagkaka-emergency loan na po tayo. That's why, tinuturo po talaga ito na paakyat. And sa baba, pinaka-importante, this is beyond our control. Si Lord lang naman may alam no, kung kailan niya tayo kukunin, kung kailan tayo magkakasakit. That's why we prepare for it. So, have proper protection and health care. So, if you would look at the book po na, na palaging hawak ko at ng mga um, campaigners, ano, it's really at the front page. Hindi na nga po siya sekreto. So, right now, Um, for the first time attendees, ano, so let's have a financial check-up lang ano, sa sarili natin bago tayo matulog. Um, kumusta na ba yung solid financial foundation ko? Um, yeah, solid na ba ito? Meron na ba akong long-term care, short-term care for my health care? Meron na ba akong protection kasi breadwinner ako? Um, uh, wala na ba akong utang or am I doing my best para... para ma-eliminate ko yung utang ano kasi maganda kaya mamuhay na walang utang yung gigising ka sa umaga na wala kang iniisip ng babayaran di ba so you focus in the present and the future lang and then emergency fund so nakapag setup na ba ako ng emergency fund sakto na ba and then investment so yun po yung ating um, assignment ngayong gabi so uh, and we'll talk more about this lang ano so especially investment kasi marami sa atin yung I'm curious talaga about investment. Now we'll talk about the application. So where do we invest? You know? So do we know about stock market and mutual funds? Karamihan sa atin nandito kasi invest, uh, interesado sa investments, right? So ano ba yung stock market and mutual funds? So in simple explanation, you know, it allows us to earn what the wealthy are earning. Ano wala? Kuya ta yung presentation ko. Sorry, I'll share it again. Okay. Right, so... Do you still see my screen? I think okay now. All right, so it's the ownership of shares for long-term goals. So if you're a stock, um, if nag-invest po tayo sa stocks or sa mutual funds, um, we are shareholders na din po ng mga blue chip companies na ito. Say, for example, Jollibee, SM, Ayala. Right, so di ba ang ganda? But there's a difference between the two, stock market and mutual funds because, um, of course, stock market, you do the trading by yourself. So, First, you have to have the time, the skill, and the money, more money. Now, um, mutual funds naman, uh, you just have to have the discipline, no? Kasi kailangan lang naman niya, discipline lang talaga, and the habit of saving. Um, having a dream, and you, you, know, you focus on that dream, a goal, so that you fulfill it by saving habitually, right? So, yun ang difference siya. Kung, kung kaya may maleta dito, kung, kung ikukumpara mo siya, parang example is yung... Um, pupunta ka sa US, right? Kung pupunta ka sa US, it's either, di ba, sasakay tayo ng aeroplano, it's either ikaw yung magpipiloto or or pasahero ka. So kung stock market, ikaw yung magpipiloto. So that means mag-aaral ka munang magpiloto, you, you spend money, you spend time, or you become a passenger, magbubuk ka lang ng ticket, and then pagsakay, chill ka lang, and manonood ng pelikula, or matutulog, pag mo, para kayo, both ng pilot and ikaw, nasa US na. 
right? So um, what we recommend more dito sa IMG, especially for beginners, is mutual fund para stress-free po tayo and diversified agad. Right? Although dito sa IMG may access din naman tayo sa direct stock trading, you know? But um, para less lang yung risk mo, mutual funds anyway, ayan all, um, diversified na agad and tax-free pa by um, redemption, you know? So most din sa mga kilala ko, yung mga nag-invest sa mutual fund right now, they're multi-millionaires already. But yung kakilala ko tuloy na nag-stock-stock, no? <laughs> yung isa niyo iba, wala, struggling pa din. Kasi nga, cool yung mag-stock trading, pero... Uh, you focus on on buying and selling and you don't focus on your goals na, di ba? Kasi konting earn lang, redeem agad, gano'n, ano. So, we, sa IMG, tinututuan tayo ng right attitude towards money talaga, ano. So, okay lang din yan, mag-stock trading tayo kung kung alam na talaga natin. So, ibibit ba natin yung, yung tawag nito, yung know-how ng mga fund managers na yung alam nila is yung economy talagang kina nasa sistema na nila kasi that's what they do all their lives no um, kaya nga uh, magagaling sila kaya nasa nasa trabaho sila na fund manager kasi that's what they do kung tayo pa yung magte-trade so we have to be updated ng news di ba nakabasa ka na ng 15 pages ng diaryo <laughs> before mag 9 am kasi dapat ready ka no kung sino yung bababa yung share ah, okay so anyway let's let's have peace of mind and let's have the fund managers worry about that, di ba? That's how the economists worry about that. But anyway, no, so yun siya. Um, we have a separate class naman on stock market and mutual fund investing. Um, just ask your friend, no, gusto kong manood or makajoin ng class on stock market investing. So ask her for a link or a live class. Meron tayo every Friday 5 p.m. sa team natin, okay? And then do you know about emergency funds? So it says here three to six months of your monthly income saved in the bank. So, sa bank kasi, madali lang kunin. So, hindi pwedeng ilagay mo siya sa mutual funds. Kasi kung, kung sa mutual funds, um, it would take time pa for you to get it. Diba? And what if mababa yung market ngayon, like ngayon na pandemic, right? So, mahirap siya. So, dapat ngayon yung ginagawa mo na pandemic is lagay ka ng lagay kasi di ba mababa yung share. So, yan yung ginagawa ngayon ng mga IMG members. Lagay ng lagay kasi mababa pa yung share. So, iba dapat yung emergency funds. And sa bank siya, and sabi dito 3 to 6 months, baka nga kulang pa ito, di ba? Yung pandemic ngayon, running 8 months na. So, kung 6 months lang yung emergency funds mo, nako, and wala kang trabaho, nako, sorry, I mean, kawawa tayo. Okay, so, Next is eliminate debts. We also teach here how to eliminate debts. Um, we have methods like snowball effect, um, debt roll up, and we have a separate class nito. If you're already a member of IMG or if member na po kayo ng IMG after dito, we have an access nito sa work. May workshop po tayo sa ating portal, ano? So, yung nagtuturo mismo is yung founders mismo ng IMG. Paano ba ma-eliminate yung debts, all right? So, maganda yun. And then, do you know about life insurance? So, um, protection. So what if I die too soon? Who will take care of my family? Sining sasalo sa aking responsibilidad. Sabi pa nga, um, the best way to show your love is to put it into writing. Right? Maganda yung wala na tayo sa mundo kung kunin man tayo ni Lord, iisipin ng mga anak natin na mahal talaga ako ni tatay. Ano? Kasi kahit wala na siya sa mundo, iniisip pa rin niya kami, hindi kami nag -help. Right? So, ayan. Yan yung um, importance lang ng life insurance and may separate class din tayo nito. You join one of our classes then. And then, here, yung pinaka nasa um, bottom talaga, yung pinaka importante, which is healthcare. Now, do you know about healthcare? Now, we'll focus more on this. We have three types of healthcare, which is short-term, senior care, and long-term. Short-term, by the name itself, is short-term. No. Kadalasa dito yung libre sa ating company while we are working. But the moment we stop working, no, wala na tayong healthcare kasi isa surrender na natin sa company. And very ironic kasi diba the moment we stop working, yung magre-retiro na tayo, dyan na lumalabas yung mga sakit and kadalasan yung mamahali na sakit. So dyan na natin kailangan ng healthcare. Right? So, um, we should not be complacent and mag-rely lang dito. That's why many IMG members who have short-term care, um, we, uh, most, uh, lahat naman ata tayo, we have long-term care to take care of us when we grow old. No? Kasi if ito, yung pangalawa, senior care, meron din naman ito, but reimbursement type na siya, wala siyang return of premiums. No? Ito din, walang return of premiums. Kung hindi mo siya magamit, um, thank you lang siya. 
Right? It's funny pa nga kasi may mentality tayo na nangihinayang tayo na hindi tayo nagkasakit. <laughs> Narinig ko yan sa ka-opisina ko dati. Naku, hindi ako nagkasakit this year. Sayang yung aking HMO. So, nag-wish ka pa na magkasakit pa. No? So, iba yan dito sa long-term care. Yung, yung amin talagang sinusulong na, na type of uh, solid financial foundation is this one. You know? Kasi... This would solve yung problem na yan. Kasi kung hindi mo siya magamit, mababalik sa'yo yung pera mo. Right? And nakatubo na. Tumutubo siya. And it solves yung ating, sa ating solid financial foundation, remember, it solves this, healthcare, and protection kasi meron siyang protection. And yung pera natin kasi investments, invested, so may investment siya. What if I die too soon, may protection. What if I live too long, merong um, long-term care to take care of my medications then and my investments, diba? so I can live on you the rest by then. Diba? So if you have Kaiser, what you need to work on na lang is um, to eliminate your debts and to build your emergency funds kung wala pa. Diba? So ang galing, diba? so sample dito is um, we have this, uh, sorry, nag-jump siya. So we have um, sample ng Kaiser long-term care dito na plan which is K100. This is the example ko kasi itong kadalasan kinukuha because this gives at least 1 million, 1.1 billion by the time na magmature. But of course, meron pang lower dito and meron ding higher. Right? So sa plan na ito, yung Kaiser, we save for 7 years. After 7 years, we stop saving. And then our money keeps on accumulating here. And then by the 20th year, we have the option to withdraw our money na nakatubo na in full or partially or iwan lang natin para makatubo. Right? And um, yung installment niya is 58,000 per year. Um, this is for annualized. Kung monthly ito is uh, 5,882. So this person opted for um, annual kasi nakakapag-save po tayo ng two months kung annual. Kasi kung eight times 12 mo yung 5882, that's around 70,000 already. Right? That's why marami sa atin nag-annualize. Ako naka-annualize din ako kasi gusto ko makasave ng 2 months. Times 7, that's already 14 months, di ba? So yung contract price niya, yung nalagay niya lahat in 7 years is 411,000. Right? So tindaan po natin. So while saving sa so 7 years, ano ba yung benefits? No? So meron tayo dito ang APE, dental health benefits, room and board, um, hospitalization and I'd like to focus on this kasi this one I really experienced, uh, not me but I witnessed na yung team ko yung na-mention ka kanina um, from Tacloban no? so um, the plan holder passed away last summer and uh, the cause was you know what kung ano dengue and she's pretty young 27 years old pa po and um, it's really sad kasi bata pa and uh, at that time his She's studying pa ng law third year and she's working at the same time sa DPWH. May dalawang anak. So, nagsakam siya sa dengue, she passed away, and ano nangyari? So, at that time, nagsisave siya sa kanyang Kaiser 11th month pa. Hindi pa nga siya ng kaisang taon. Hindi pa, of course, umabot ng 7 years. So, kahit 11 months pa siyang nakapag-pay, no? Part ito ng feature. So, kung, kung kunin tayo ni Lord, may term insurance na na-receive yung yung husband niya, which is the primary policy holder na tanggap niya. And then ito, gustong gusto ko, waiver of installment due to death. So namatay siya. Na-waive. Na-waive po yung mga babayaran niya for seven years na considered na po paid in full. Tapos, transferred to the to the primary beneficiary. So di ba ang ganda? Kasi wala akong alam na natatransfer na, na policy. So dito sa Kaiser, um, kung, may, kung kunin tayo ni Lord na hindi pa tapos, so nako-considered paid in full siya and transferred po sa primary beneficiary or kung sino man sa apat na beneficiaries yung na, na-agree nila na makakapag-receive ng, ng policy. Ano. So ngayon, paid in full na siya and si husband na po niya, na-meet ko din kasi dito nag-claim sa Cebu, in-award yung, yung check. Ano. Uh, siya na yung makakatanggap later on ng money, ng, um, ng maturity na money and makaka- maka-enjoy ng HMO benefit and more. Ano. So, dun ko nakita ng galing talaga ng product na ito, ano, ang pro-Filipino. And yes, after seven years, ano, kung paid in full na kasi yung money mo, tubo ng tubo. We have this outpatient benefit 
inpatient benefit, maternity, kahit mabuntis mo, no? pre-existing and then dreaded. And uh, meron na po tayong computations dito ng tubo ng pera natin. Ano? So from 411,000 naging 1.1 million na po. Ano? So biruin nyo, that is kung hindi nagamit. Kung nagamit, of course, iba may bawas po siya. No? So given lang ito na hindi siya nagamit. So di ba, it's money working for you. So would this suffice na no, for for medications later on, parang ang kukonti pa ito. So ito naman si Juan na nag-decide siya na after 20 years, sabi niya, iwan ko lang muna kasi anyway, may kita naman ako, baka IMG member siya and may income siya weekly, so hindi pa niya ito kailangan. And baka may investments din siya, no? so iwan ko lang. Although pwede natin kunin, right? So pinatubo lang niya muna sa Kaiser. Pag 16 niya, meron na siyang 6.4 million pesos. Pag 16 niya, hindi pa din niya kailangan. Pag 65 niya, meron na siyang 10.4, diba? So this is, look at that, from 411 to 10.4. So by that time, do you think enough na po ito? No? So I think, yeah, pero consider you after 40 years yan, parang konti pa nga ito, diba? Kasi uh, magkano yan, ngayon nga, diba, kung mag-heart angioplasty yung operations heart, it's already 1 million. If you don't have um, these types of, of insurances, these types of healthcare, Ano mayayari sa atin? Mangungutang na naman tayo or you know, mag anong ask ng help sa social media, di ba? So mahirap 'yun. So that's why you be prepare for it. Okay? So ayan yung kagandahan ng Kaiser. Now let's move on to the action plan. So sabi pa nga ni bro, Brother Bo Sanchez, um, knowledge without action is just like entertainment. So ito yung ginawa ko dati and ginawa din ng mga members dito. No, after um, after we learned about this concept, so we took action. So we became, we, we enrolled as a member. Ako nga dati, nag-research muna talaga ako kasi gusto kong kumuha ng Kaiser. And then um, after ko na kinig ng class, talagang ganda pala. No? So nagpa-member ako. So basic IMG membership benefit, ito na siya. So mayroong fidelity din. So ano yung benefit? So may lifetime enrollment tayo to financial education classes. So nagtuturo sa atin dito, they're real wealthy people, billionaires already. Free financial check-up. Kadalasang tao, sa so mga tao ngayon, no, may sakit sa bulsa kaysa sa may sakit sa katawan. Di ba? So we can always ask a mentor what to do. And then automatic may 100,000 na personal accident insurance. And then may 50,000 na memorial benefits. And then free eye checkup and frame. So itong frame ko, at saka yung mama ko, favorite niya yung ito na benefit kasi gustong gusto niya nag-upgrade ng salamin niya palagi. So free yung frame. Yung frame costs around 3-5. Uh, so kung twice, twice a year kasi free, so meron ka ng 7,000 na free. No? Um, free pa yung checkup. Yung babayaran mo lang is lens. So nakamura talaga tayo. And then unlimited, unlimited health checkup sa ating medical centers, Kaiser Medical Centers. And then online mutual fund account with 1,000 initial investment. So ito naman yung paborito ng lahat ngayon. Ano, kasi especially ngayon na mababa yung market. So mas marami yung mabibili na share. So automatic meron na agad kayong mutual fund account. And the best thing is, um, ano siya, online na lang. Dati kasi... Paper pa, no? Paper pa, mag-invest ka. Ang dami kaya ng forms. Ngayon, pinadali talaga ni IMG, no? 1,000 pesos lang. Mer yan lahat invested na sa mutual fund. And hindi na siya, ano, hindi na hassle na marami yung forms. No? Nag-partner talaga siya sa mga investment companies. And access to dominate online marketing tools and discounts sa courses sa car. So, bili kayo ng car. Kahit anong brand, no, may discount tayo. And then, kung member na po tayo, may access po tayo sa ating dashboard. So, isa po sa ating mutual fund is Soldivo. For example, makikita natin. But we can have many more. Right now, I'm maintaining like eight, eight na mutual funds. Ano? So, yung Soldivo yung nag-appear sa ating portal. Ito yung pinakabago. But we can um, use seed box then And of course, may paper din tayo. Ano? So makikita natin yung ating investments, yung ating Kaiser. No? Makikita natin yung MB Life, um, Fidelity. So andyan siya. No? So magkano siya? 6,000 lang po yung ating membership ano, one time. And if you want to do the career side, you just have to renew your accreditation na one five per year. That's very a minimal, a very minimal amount, you know. Sa kompera sa millions na babalik sa yon na na, na 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 receive natin. Okay, so um, six thousand pesos. Ano bang ginagawa natin sa six thousand? Usually pang shopping lang yan natin, di ba? 
or pang dining dine out, right? Now, what we recommend more is the associate membership, meaning IMG member ka, may fidelity ka, and meron ka ng Kaiser, no? So, this is K100 monthly siya. So, um, ano yung nadagdag? So, instead na 100,000, 1 million na yung personal accident mo. Instead of 50,000, 500,000 na yung memorial mo. And may retirement ka na na 1.1 and healthcare funds, no? 1.1 million. And you can do the, the career side or business side, kagaya po ng ginagawa ng kaibigan mo at dito, no? Akin, no? So, um, ako, nag-transition talaga ako from working from being an employee to ito na pati yung husband ko ito na yung ginagawa namin nakapag-quit na din po sa pagiging engineer yung husband ko kasi he has to go out of the country kung he would opt that or malalayo kami ano and so ito na so um, after a year na I did IMG um, I was able to quit my job and do IMG parang hindi pa ngayon full time kasi at that time um, pregnant ako but um Talagang um, nag-crossover nag na siya sa income ko dati um, while I was working, no? So, tapos yung maganda pa dito is very fulfilling yung career ka sa mga Filipino talaga yung natutulungan mo. Right? So, magkano po yun? 12382, no? Initial investment. So, this includes already your Kaiser membership and fidelity. Yung i-maintain mo lang dito monthly is yung Kaiser mo. Okay, so yan. So, tandaan pa natin yung prices and go for the associate and advanced membership. You know? So, here in IMG, you can do this career. You can become an entrepreneur. You can increase your cash flow by becoming an entrepreneur. So, ikaw ito as an IMG member, you can do this no? as a preferred member. Wala po tayong quota, but if you would look at mga IMG members, ano? kasi sipag, um, relentless, kasi we feel na this is really important, although we don't have quota. Right? We can represent all of these companies, especially Kaiser. Kasi um, yung long-term care, wala pong ibang long-term care dito sa Pilipinas, but Kaiser long-term care lang po. And um, if you want, if you, you would look at the marketing side of it, um, wala po tayong kompetensya. So magka, ilan po ba sa kaibigan mo ngayon yung walang mga long-term care? No? So tulungan natin sila na magkaroon din. Right? So marami pa pong company na partners tayo and we can earn from them, we can have discounts from them. Okay? And um, ito yung compensation. So if you do the career side in three months time, if you become an associate member and you start sharing to your friends, to your family, and you, they also start saving. Dito sa IMG, damay-damay po ano, damay-damay meaning damay-damay tayong maging mayaman, damay-damay tayong maging protected. Kasi mahirap din, you know what guys, na ikaw lang yung nag-iipon. Tapos yung pamilya mo, mga kaibigan mo, hindi nag-iipon. Later on in life, if they run out of money, sayo yan lalapit, and they would tell you, bakit hindi mo kasi nabihan? <laughs> di ba? Marami na sana akong ipon ngayon, di ba? So, tulungan mo din sila na makapag-ipon, di ba? So, lahat tayo, we can prosper together here, right? So, when you do the career side, and yeah, guys, ito, I, what, the reason I love this business, ano, kasi you help people become wealthy. Ang dami kasing businesses, pero liabilities yung ina-offer mo. They buy something, material stuff, but that fades away, no? It turns out as a liability ng ito, tung habang tumatagal, lumalaki yung pera mo. So, sino yung yayaman? Ikaw at ang ikaw, um, I mean, yung kaibigan mo, and then ikaw, kukunti nga lang yung commission. But of course, if you do this, um, that book kasi talaga, yung mission is malaki talaga yung income. Ano? So, um, uh, yan, ano? in three months time, you can have this amount that's extra. No? So, what can this do to you? So, it can already sustain your savings. It can add to your mutual funds, di ba? So, pwede itong pagbayad ng bills, di ba? So, if, I have to say, if you just have the heart to share to others. Kasi, of course, this is not an easy business, but it's very simple, though not easy. Pero this is very fulfilling, you know? So, yung may mga heart lang talaga na mag-help sa others then yung may concern sa others. Kasi minsan, iba ayaw nila kasi hindi daw ganyan sila. Pero kung iisipin mo, okay lang ba sa'yo na yung ikaw, mabuti yung kalagayan mo financially, tapos yung mga kaibigan mo hindi. In terms of saving, ha? Kasi yung, yung income pang labas lang naman yan. Marami tayong mga kaibigan na malalaki yan. ang income, pero wala ding ipon or maraming utang. So we have to help them. They, sometimes they have to let go of their pride and ego ano, and, and listen to, to a class like the, what IMG has no na class. Right? So congratulations, guys, especially sa first timers. Because ano, um, you're not part of our movement. 
just uh, give your details to the friend who invited you here so that ma-counted po tayo. All right? And ma-include tayo dito sa counter natin and masama kayo sa ating 30 million. Okay? So, welcome in advance to our community and together let us achieve our dreams. My name again is Maria Sharina Advincula. My Facebook is Hera Advincula and here are my other details. You can add me in Facebook or you can, you know, ask questions sa akin dyan, but better is you go back to your friend and thank him or her, no? Kasi that means na he really cares for you and your future and your family's future, no? Kasi kinulit ka niya na mag-attend dito sa class na ito, no? So thank him and give your details para makasali kayo sa ating campaign. And you can have your um, license pre-approved if gusto niyo pong gawin yung IMG din. Okay? So I leave you with that quote na palaging sinasabi ng mentor ko. Um, financial independence is not a dream, it's a decision, right? So stop procrastinating. Kung palagi po tayo nagpo-procrastinate, wag na po, ano? Let's start. Let's become a member and take actions to our dreams, okay? So thank you po again for staying with me. Pasensya po if um, medyo natagalan, <laughs> right? And um, have a great night and God bless po everyone. See you again sa class natin tomorrow. Invite more people po. Thank you. God bless. I am a proud IMG campaigner because our mission to financially educate people is limitless. We keep no boundaries to share and spread our advocacy to the families who are in need. I am a proud IMG campaigner because I was encouraged and motivated to help more families and prevent them from becoming a victim of a scam. I am a proud IMG campaigner because I was able to teach my co-teachers the importance of saving money for their future and their retirement. I am a proud IMG campaigner because this has inspired me to uplift the image of the teachers that we are not always a victim of loan sharks but we can also be financially educated and become financial educators as well. I am a proud IMG campaigner because it has taught me to build a solid financial foundation which I can't wait to share with more families in the future. I am a proud IMG campaigner because I was able to share the knowledge of financial independence to people. I am a proud IMG campaigner because this changed my life from a domestic helper to a financial educator. I am a proud IMG campaigner because I was able to touch lives through this campaign and transport people to where they ought to be. I am a proud IMG campaigner because it's amazing to bring financial knowledge to people and guide them towards a debt-free life.